Uh, how's everybody doing today? My name is Marcus Banks of M Banks Music, and I'm finally here with another episode of the M Banks Music series. So today, I just wanted to talk about marketing in general and give a quick tip as it relates to music marketing especially. I see a lot of people out there marketing their projects on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram also. And they might mention their project once before it gets released. Now, this is a big problem because people who don't see it the first time, they might not see it. And if you just drop a project without any marketing, there's a good chance that no one's gonna hear it and it's not actually gonna go anywhere. So, what, what I suggest and what I, you know, what I tend to do with my projects now and what I recommend is that you market it in a way that you can market it again without it being redundant. What I mean is, you see a lot of people on the big social networks, you know, the Drakes, the Lil Wayne's, the Lupe's, you see big artists like that, and how do they market their project? They don't just mention their project once, but they don't spam either. What they do, and what I recommend, is probably a marketing plan that will take you anywhere from six months to the time of release. At the beginning of the marketing plan, you might mention something once a week, maybe. But as, as time goes on, time gets closer like let's say a week before release you might want to have something that says seven days left before my project drops six days left five days left that way it stays in people's ears and when you do that you get people anticipating your project and your work So, with that being said, another thing that happens when, when artists, especially are promoting their project, is the spamming. Spamming takes you back. It, get, it, it causes you to take steps back instead of going forward in the direction that you want to go in. Why is that? Because people get turned off by spamming. They don't like spamming. I check my email, I see junk email in my email box. Do I read it? Most likely not. I see junk on my timeline, do I read it? Most likely not. If anybody else posts on your timeline and it's just marketing their event, their song, their album do you take the time to listen to it probably not so it's the same way when you marketing your music you got to remember that when you're trying to market something not everybody's going to be aware of it and by force feeding people you're going to turn people away from your music and your art as opposed to getting more people to check it out. You could sit all day, send 250 messages on Facebook and say, check out my music, check out my music, check out my music, check out my music. But at the end, at the end of all that, you won't be left with very much. And you'll be wondering why, why isn't it working? That's because spamming is not marketing. 
I want you to recognize that spamming is not marketing. So, in the next episode, we're going to go into some alternatives. And we're going to go into more tips that can help you take your music marketing to the next level. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope the countdown technique has helped you. And I hope you apply it on your projects. And let me know if you see the benefits of doing it this way. Shouts out to everybody who's always supported me. Thank you.